Hey folks, Tristan back with another video. And in this video, we are taking a look at and comparing uh, headphones with a 10 times price difference here. That's right, 10 times. Uh, the headphones on the left are the Odyssey LCD 4Z headphones, which retail for about $4,000. The headphones on the right are the AudioQuest Night Owl Carbon headphones, which retail for about $400. Now you can find a little bit of price fluctuation between these headphones or sometimes you know, they might go on sale, but generally there is literally a 10 times price difference between these two headphones. So in this video, let's talk about things like design, comfort, weight, as well as the sound quality and the differences between these two headphones. First of all, let's talk about the design. I think both of them look equally as cool. And as you can see here, both of them have sort of a retro design to them. They both look kind of retro modern. Uh, you know, and I think both of them look pretty cool, but I give it to the um, 4Zs on the left uh, for uh, the uh, ultimate coolness factor. I think those just look really awesome. The Night Owl Carbons on the right still look pretty cool, but just don't look quite as cool. In terms of the build quality, I think both headphones in their price point have an excellent build quality. One of the main differences is where they're made. The um, Odyssey headphones are made in California, whereas the AudioQuest headphones were designed in California, but they're actually made in China. That being said, the AudioQuest headphones at $400 do have a really excellent build quality. And I think actually they almost feel better than $400, whereas the 4Z headphones on the left, you know, feel about equal to what they are charging for them in terms of the build quality. Interesting to note that when the AudioQuest headphones first came out, they were about I think $600 or so. Now they have over the past year gone down in price to you know, around $400. So I think at $400, the uh, Night Owl Carbons certainly uh, feel a little bit more premium than that price that you know, they're being charged. Whereas the AudioQuest headphones feel about right for $4,000 headphones, if that makes sense. Now, in terms of comfort, there is definitely a winner here, and that would be the um, Night Owl Carbon headphones. The Night Owl Carbon headphones are really much lighter. And as you can see here, I'm weighing them and you can see the you know weight difference here, but they're much lighter and much more comfortable to wear. In fact, they rank among the most comfortable headphones out there on the market, uh, to be frank. They're very comfortable to wear, they're very light. You feel like you can wear them all day and you don't really get any kind of like um, uncomfortableness around your ears or on your head. And they're just very comfortable headphones and they are, they are, they are also self-adjusting, which is really cool. You can see that the Odyssey 4Z headphones are really um, a lot heavier. And while they're lighter than prior versions of the Odyssey LCD series headphones, they are still ranked among you know, one of the heavy, heaviest headphones out there. And, uh, you know, they are certainly comfortable and I can wear them for a few hours without, you know, really complaining. They just aren't as comfortable as a lighter headphone. Would I prefer the LCD 4Z headphones to be lighter? Absolutely. Fine. But do I find them way too heavy like I do some other Odyssey headphones? Not really, because they are about 20% lighter than uh, other prior versions of Odyssey headphones. But yes, there's definitely a weight difference there between these two headphones for sure. And that's definitely noticeable when you're comparing the two. Overall though, the materials are certainly more premium and better on the Odyssey 4Z headphones. I mean, you know, you've got carbon fiber, you've got a nice magnesium metal enclosure. Uh, you just got a lot more higher end, you know, premium materials. Whereas the AudioQuest headphones certainly do feel premium, but you know, the materials aren't, aren't quite as premium. The designer of the AudioQuest Night Owl Carbon, Skylar Gray, who's actually no longer at AudioQuest, really did a great job with efficiency in terms of using the materials that are uh, ideal for the headphone design, but also being as sort of sustainable and as efficient as possible, and therefore bringing the price down as well. You know, the ear cups are made out of what they call liquid wood, which I think starts out as a liquid. It's sort of a it's sort of a wood pulp material mixed with uh, you know certain adhesives and glues and stuff like that to make it kind of like almost like plastic but it's kind of like a mixture of like wood and plastic and so so again it's kind of a light design and sort of a neat design and a design that they're able to manufacture relatively cheaply and you know bring the cost down in that respect whereas i feel like the odyssey 4z's are more of a premium type headphone and you know they didn't really uh, take into consideration cost in terms of when they designed it you know you've got carbon fiber and real leather on the headband and you know uh leather uh, sheepskin uh, ear pads and all that kind of stuff whereas the AudioQuest have like the uh, sort of protein leather ear pads and headband. 
So those are you know, some of the differences there. Now let's go ahead and talk about sound quality. Which ones sound better? Well, it's clear to me the 4Zs definitely sound better. Um, they've got a much smoother sound, a more impactful sound overall, um, and just way more of a premium sound. That being said, the Night Owl Carbons are certainly no slouch. Um, they sound very good in their price point. Let's talk a little bit about the bass. Uh, the 4Zs definitely slam a lot lower and just a lot better and more impactful, even though they're open headphones, whereas the Night Owl Carbons are closed back headphones. The bass just isn't as low, deep, or as impactful or as, a, or as present. Now the mids on each headphones are actually quite good, but again, the 4Zs just have a lot sort of smoother mids and, and less sort of breathy mids in the vocals and just much more of a sweet tone to them. Um, also on these headphones, the sound signature on the highs are um, not harsh. You know, the highs on each of these headphones are quite smooth and both of these headphones sort of cater to and people who don't want a uh, super harsh headphones in the treble. So both of these headphones perform well in that respect, but, but it gotta give it to the Odyssey 4Zs for that. Um, the highs are just so super sweet and um, smooth and just, and just really natural. Whereas on the AudioQuest headphones, they're just a little bit less natural, um, a little bit more cluttered, um, and you know not as sort of discreet sounding in that respect. And also that also, now that also plays into the sound stage as well, you know, the, Odysseys have definitely a bigger and nicer and thicker, wider soundstage uh, than the AudioQuest Night Owl Carbons. In terms of the drivers, they're different technologies. You've got the Odysseys, which have the planar magnetic drivers, which is not like a traditional speaker driver. It's a, it's a you know, film that is actually moving. Whereas the AudioQuest is more of a traditional driver. It's a dynamic driver. It's made out of biocellulose. So it's got kind of a smooth tone to them, but you know, they're going to perform and sound a little bit different because anytime you have a traditional driver, you do have uh, certain frequencies that are more distorted than you do with a planar magnetic driver. The planar magnetic drivers are really known for being uh, you know, very smooth in terms of their output. So you definitely have that working uh, in favor of the uh, 4Z headphones for sure. So all in all, I really do enjoy listening to both of these headphones, but uh, very clearly I have to give it to the uh, Odyssey 4Zs, they're just a lot more fun to listen to and I would choose that any day of the week if you would say, you know, which headphone do you prefer to listen to? It's definitely going to be uh, the Odyssey headphones. But the comparison has been really sort of interesting for me because, you know, at the different price points it's being charged here, it's almost like there really isn't a 10x difference between these headphones. Uh, you know, the AudioQuest headphones sound really good in their price point. And again, I've said this before in my review video, uh, the Odyssey 4Z headphones, I think, could stand to be $1,000 or $1,500 less. I mean, $4,000 for these, these headphones is really quite expensive. Um, they certainly do sound, you know, like a very premium, high-end, you know, top-of-the-line headphone for sure, but I still do think that they are, you know, a bit expensive. And it was sort of an interesting comparison when listening to both of these headphones. And yes, there are all of the differences which I've outlined here in this video. That being said, there are definitely clear differences and you know, the 4Z wins in every listening test. The 4Zs are just a lot more fun to listen to and you know, for lack of a better word, a lot more euphonic, a lot more just sort of like ear candy. Whereas the AudioQuest Night Owl Carbons still sound really good. It's just when you compare the two, it just is a step below for sure. So in some ways it's almost like sacrilege to compare these two headphones because they are way different in terms of their price. I think the AudioQuest Night Owl Carbons perform very well in their price point and probably are the best headphones in that price point at $400. I mean, they sound amazingly good for $400 headphones. They're amazingly comfortable. They look really cool and you know, they're just awesome headphones for $400. Whereas at $4,000, the 4Z headphones, I don't know, are necessarily worth $4,000. Um, they do sound amazingly good and they're definitely flagship headphones um, and just really a joy to listen to. Again, they could stand to be a little bit lighter and I think they could stand to be, you know, maybe $1,000 or $1,500, you know, cheaper. Certainly when I want to do critical listening or want to, you know, really, um, get the best output and best sound possible, I will put on the 4Zs. And right. the AudioQuest headphones are the headphones I tend to bring around the house as well when I want to do listening maybe outside or on a portable rig. Or also when I want to watch a movie late at night or something like that, I will also 
uh, you know, put on the uh, Night Owl Carbons. Each of the headphones have a nice smooth sound signature, so they're not drastically different in terms of the overall sound signature. I mean, both of them sort of cater to somebody who wants a nice smooth sound signature and not something that is like shooting the trouble into your ears really harshly. Both of them have, you know, a nice smooth, sort of uh, treble response in that respect. And in terms of that, they could be said to have a very similar sound signature. So thanks for watching this video. Again, this has been my look and comparison at the Odyssey LCD 4Z headphones at $4,000 and the AudioQuest Night Owl Carbon headphones at $400. And if you thought this video was cool, give the video a thumbs up. If you thought it sucked, give it a thumbs down. And also be sure to hit that bell button so that you can get notified anytime I publish a new video. And I would love to hear your comments. Any thoughts, questions, comments, whatever, uh, we'll be hanging out in the comments section. And uh, if you have any suggestions for other videos that I should do or that you would like to see in my channel, I would love to hear your feedback. So please feel free to leave that as well. Also see the description field for pricing and availability on both of these headphones, as well as these cool headphone stands that I'm using here as well. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video.